So I'm here with Evans from Pegasus Astro, and we are taking a look at a new product, the Flatmaster Neo. Can you tell us a little bit about this flat panel? Yeah, of course. Um, it's a, it was a popular demand, basically, and lots of people want a motorized flat panel. And not only a flat panel, but they want it also for for uh, coverage for their telescope as a lead, right? Right. As a, as a motorized lead. I see it has like a little rubberized exactly. outside and, here. And what they really want is to have a tight, a tight seal uh, of, the, of the opening of the telescope in order to take darks, right? And prevent, oh, wow. okay. and prevent also dust and moisture come into their lenses. So this is what we designed here. And, and, and what we did is that we made this, this device uh, purely of aluminium, of aircraft grade aluminium. So it's, uh, it's aluminium, it's very light. It has a very nice silicon seal uh, that, is, that works great also uh, under a uh, cold environment. And it, it securely tights the telescope and prevents moisture and light and dust and bugs. To, go in, bugs, yeah, <laughs> to go into the, the lenses. So it's a uh, Wi-Fi. It's also USB-C controlled, only one cable operation. Um, it has a light That's panel. the cable exactly. right there, one of yep. your new cables, yep. I see. Yep. They're silicon cables. It has a light panel that can be controlled from zero to 100% uh, easily. It supports Nina. It's, uh, it's Alpaca ready, it's ASCOM ready, it's gonna be Indy ready. Uh, it has an, a very nice feature that prevents collision. So if, you, if, if there is an obstacle and you touch it, it's gonna stop. Nice. Right, and it's gonna recover after after a while. So this is important. If you have an unattended setup, you need to make sure that it's gonna it's not gonna hit something. Yes. And damage your equipment. And also, uh, it has a couple of features that are very nice. That it has a humidity and a temperature sensor, and a heater here. So okay. when it's open and it senses uh, hum humidity, it will turn on the heater, and it will not allow uh, moisture and Build water up. droplets condensed right. here because you have that if in it closed, the, yeah, yep. you can have all the water inside your telescope and you, and you don't want that. And that's that. automatic as long as this is it's running? A, it's automatic. You can also control it with your uh, manually, but usually it's, it's, it's automatic so you don't have to do something. When there is high humidity, it will turn on and keep your panel uh, without uh, moisture, right? And, and your optics for that matter, and your optics, right? And your optics, yeah. And also has a light sensor that if you forget it open, uh, when when there is daylight, it will automatically close. Okay. So this is another feature that you can turn on and off. So yeah, it excellent. comes with two sizes. This is the first one, up to 125. And we're going to make a larger one also for, for bigger telescopes, up to six or seven inches. Wow. All right. Excellent. This looks like a great product. I'm excited to see uh, it in operation. Thank you so much, uh, Evans, for your Thank you very awesome much. new Thank product you. here at Pegasus Astro here at Neat. If you're still watching and like videos like this one, please consider becoming a Patreon patron. Memberships start as low as $3 per month, with benefits including opportunities to ask questions of our guests. Also, please consider to like, subscribe, and share this video to help us bring the universe even closer than you think.